The Enchanted Chronicles, A Journey Through the World of Magic. The mystical land of Enchantia was a place like no other. It was a world filled with enchantment, where wizards roamed freely and spells were cast with a flick of a wand. Magical creatures of all shapes and sizes lived among the inhabitants of this fantasy world, bringing both wonder and danger to those who crossed their paths. One such creature was the mighty dragon, whose fiery breath could incinerate anything in its path. But not all creatures in Enchantia were so fearsome. There were also gentle unicorns, whose horns were said to possess healing powers, and mischievous fairies, who delighted in playing tricks on unsuspecting travelers. In the heart of Enchantia stood the grand castle of the sorcerer Malachi, a powerful wizard whose mastery of sorcery was known throughout the land. Inside his castle, Malachi kept a collection of enchanted items, each one more powerful than the last. One such item was the Crystal of Serenity, which had the power to calm even the most turbulent of storms. One day, a young adventurer named Lily stumbled upon the castle of Malachi while wandering through the enchanted forest. Intrigued by the tales she had heard of the sorcerer's magical abilities, Lily decided to seek an audience with him. As she approached the castle gates, she could feel the supernatural energy crackling in the air filling her with both excitement and trepidation. Upon entering the castle, Lily was greeted by a host of mystical creatures who led her to the throne room where Malachi awaited. The wizard was a tall man with a long beard and piercing blue eyes, his robes shimmering with the power of a thousand spells. As Lily bowed before him, Malachi's voice boomed through the room, causing the very walls to tremble. Greetings, Young traveler, he said, what brings you to my domain? I seek to learn the ways of sorcery, mighty Malachi, Lily replied, her voice steady despite her nerves. I wish to harness the power of magic and explore the wonders of this enchanted land. Malachi regarded her with a knowing smile, his eyes twinkling with ancient wisdom. Very well, young one, he said. I shall take you on as my apprentice, and together we shall uncover the secrets of Enchantia. And so, Lily's journey through the world of magic began. Under Malachi's tutelage, she learned to cast spells, summon magical creatures, and wield enchanted items with ease. Together, they traveled across the realm, facing dangers and challenges that tested Lily's newfound powers to their limits. But through it all, she remained steadfast and determined, her heart filled with the wonder of the supernatural. And as she delved deeper into the mysteries of Enchantia, Lily knew that her adventures had only just begun. The world of magic held endless possibilities, and she was ready to explore them all. Question, what is the main theme of this chapter? Check the video description for the answer. The Enchanted Chronicles a journey through the world of magic. Chapter Roman 8 As the group ventured deeper into the enchanted forest, they encountered all kinds of magical creatures. Dragons soared high above in the sky, their scales glistening in the sunlight. Unicorns pranced gracefully through the meadows, their horns glowing with a soft light. Fairies danced around them, sprinkling glittering dust that shimmered in the air. The children's eyes widened with wonder as they took in the sights around them. It was like stepping into a whole new world filled with mythical beings and enchanted creatures. The trees seemed to whisper secrets of the mystical realm, their branches reaching out as if to welcome the travelers into their midst. Suddenly, a group of magical beings appeared before them. They were dressed in shimmering robes and carried wands that sparkled with power. These were the guardians of the fantasy world, tasked with protecting the enchanted forests and all who resided within them. Welcome, travelers, one of the enchanted beings spoke, their voice gentle yet commanding. You have entered a place of great magic and wonder. Be cautious, for the creatures here are not always what they seem. The children nodded in awe, taking in the wisdom of the magical beings. They knew that they had to tread carefully in this mystical realm, 
for danger lurked around every corner, but they were determined to uncover the secrets hidden within the enchanted forests, no matter what obstacles they may face. As they journeyed further into the heart of the forest, the children came across a clearing where a magnificent dragon lay sleeping. Its scales shimmered in shades of emerald and gold, and it snored softly as wisps of smoke curled from its nostrils. We must be quiet, whispered one of the enchanted beings. Dragons are powerful creatures, and it is best not to disturb them while they slumber. The children nodded, awestruck by the sight before them. They had never seen a dragon up close before, and the sheer size and majesty of the creature took their breath away. They knew that they had to be careful not to wait the dragon, lest they face its fiery wrath. As they tiptoed past the sleeping beast, the children felt a sense of wonder and excitement bubbling within them. They were in a world unlike any they had ever known, filled with magical creatures and enchanted beings and they were determined to explore every corner of this fantastical realm, no matter what challenges lay ahead. But little did they know that their journey was far from over, and that the true tests of bravery and heroism were yet to come. The enchanted forest held many secrets, and only those with pure hearts and courageous spirits could hope to uncover them. And so the children pressed on, their hearts filled with determination and their eyes shining with the promise of adventure. Question, what are some examples of magical creatures mentioned in this chapter? Check the video description for the answer.